Well met and happy medieval Monday. Today we're going to talk about fermentation. Once upon a time, about three or four updates ago, you could start a new game with the ability to make brewing stations, but that was too easy. So research is now required before you can give your settlers something to drink. And no, they won't drink water in the game, but they do get thirsty. So we're going to build a fermenting station. So find that in your production menu and slap one down in a handy spare room. You can build these outside if you need to, but they'll operate faster indoors or at least under a roof. I'm going to toss this into a room with a backgammon table because why not? You can put it in your kitchen or make a room just for brewing, whatever floats your caravel. And I prioritize construction because the sooner you start fermenting things, the happier settlers will be. So let's speed edit this. As with all production assets, you'll want to get your production queue set up. At the fermenting station, we can make curdling milk. Sounds tasty. Um, that'll make cheese, which the settlers can turn into other types of food. Fermenting fruit juice will become rough wine. I always start that at 50 and then increase it as time goes by so that the cook isn't spending all of their time brewing. Um, we can tweak what we want them to make this wine with. Its default is red currant and apples, which is fine for me for now. Fermenting mash is just a hodgepodge, really. It's It will result in something called dubious booze. And, and yes, in real life, you can make alcohol out of rotting vegetables. But why would you unless you're on the How to Make Everything channel? Athelstan will start brewing some beverages, and while he's getting started, I am going to create a stockpile for fermenting ingredients. I recommend this be indoors in a warm room because fermentation depends a great deal on temperature. The colder it is, the longer it will take. Um, if you want to designate specific stockpiles for specific brews, you can do that by clicking on the stockpile and tweaking what items are allowed. While we wait, let's go ahead and add a brewing station. I swear these settlers are always asleep when I want them to do something. Um, let's add some heaters, cozy chair for them to sit on while they drink or watch people play backgammon, and of course, some more stockpiles. Perinel is going to build our brewing station, finally, and now here we can make ale, mead, and beer, which the settlers seem to enjoy a great deal more than rough wine. Um, you can edit there too, but only what fuel is used. Ale and beer require barley, and mead requires honey. Athelstan will get back to work brewing his medieval hard out, and now we wait. You can check the status of your beverages by clicking on one of the barrels, and it will show you how fermented it is. Fermentation can take a while, which is why I highly recommend it be one of the first items you research. Eventually, the game will let you know when fermentation is complete. You'll want to move the drinks to a cool, climate-controlled indoor location as soon as possible so it doesn't turn into vinegar. Unless, of course, you want vinegar, but that's a topic for another day. So down to the cellar it goes. If we take a peek at our settler's stats, we can see how thirsty they are by looking at their alcohol requirements bar. Stephen is thirsty, so let's get him a drink. In fact, drinks all around. Let's have a medieval party.
and now Ospert is tipsy. I can tell because of the green bubbles around him. Also because his alcohol requirement bar is full. Poor guy's gonna go sleep it off and eventually the bar will start to go back down. So keep your sellers happy by keeping their level here around 70% when you can and keep an eye on them. Uh, sometimes they forget to do simple tasks like eat, drink, and sleep. Being tipsy and drinking good beverages usually gives your settlers a positive mood modifier and happy settlers makes for a better settlement where people want to stick around and do work. And there goes Osper to do some more mining. And I'm going as well to play some more Going Medieval. See you next time.